Hello everybody, my name is Ashley Scott. I'm a Vice President of Landscape Architecture at wat and Really excited to be working on the, this project, uh, Maple Grove with Mega World. Um, looking forward to uh, continuing on the design process with you. Hello everyone, my name is Roger Gaspar, um, Vice President for Architecture, WTG Singapore. Uh, we're very excited today to present to you our final concept package for your wonderful project, Maple Grove in the Philippines. We see Maple Grove Village as a luxury residential development that will be centered around wellness, themed with uh, lush environments and beautiful facilities that will promote well-being and relaxation for its residences. The landscape uh, is envisaged as a series of uh, communal parks brought together in, in this beautiful landscape setting inspired by uh, spa and wellness and also uh, activities for both adults and children and bringing in lots of interesting garden spaces designed around wellness and tranquility, uh, mindfulness, uh, introducing edible gardens and fitness uh, spaces as well as activity spaces within the wider landscape uh, for the community. The residence clubhouse is located in the center of the development. It is the living room communal space for all of its residents. It is also the uh, overall physical embodiment of a communal space and also an extension of the concept of a community designed around wellness and well-being. So following on from the, the architectural component of the project, WATNG was also tasked with developing the overall landscape design of the communi community streets and all the open spaces, as well as the landscape and architectural design for the clubhouse and guardhouse areas. So as you can see from this slide here, you can see the overall landscape framework and the different colors here of, of, of the trees and fauna and flora represent the different character areas within the plan. We created a series of uh, community parks here that the uh, community can engage with and each park is themed slightly differently so that there is a journey uh, for the, the resident that they can go to these different community parks for different activities. To the heart of the project is the, the, uh, the clubhouse, the residence clubhouse, which again further offers a series of, of spaces uh, with, within the, the clubhouse facility for the family to enjoy that whole wellness and tranquility designed landscapes. So the landscape wellness story is focused around uh, these key spaces that we're showing on this slide. So central to the, the whole community, the heart of the community is the clubhouse. And then connecting in, we have a fitness and activity garden, uh, a colour garden, a chromotherapy garden. This is a, a garden of, of colour uh, that is a, a wellness space that one can interact with the, 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 the flowering plants uh, to uh, become uh, uh, more, more relaxed. Whilst, whilst sitting within those gardens. We also have the gardens of uh, tranquility where one can uh, engage in, in yoga uh, and, and other act activities. We have edible gardens uh, reflecting fruiting uh, plants and trees of, of this particular region of the Philippines. And then we also have the aromatic gardens, the gardens of scent, which will also be quite colorful. These aromatic gardens also attract um, birds, uh, butterflies and, and bees and very uh, strong in creating a, a high biodiversity across the site. So here we can see the strategy for the open space. As I mentioned, we have the, the heart of the, the, the community, which is the clubhouse. And then focused around that is a series of, of gardens. We also have a series of tree-lined uh, streets. Uh, de depicting different character areas through the use of different flowering uh, trees. And central to the development, we have this water corridor, which follows the, the existing uh, water stream uh, within the site. So for the chromotherapy garden, you can see here that it's very much focused on abundance of, of flowers with, with flowering trees and flowering shrubs. And this draws inspiration from the, the 
Indian relief of the chakras and how different colors help to uh, settle different parts of the body. So this is something that we're going to uh, bring into the development. Uh, it's an element of wellness which has become quite popular internationally and something that we do bring into a lot of our landscapes around the world. So WATG has been tasked to design the residence clubhouse as well as the guard houses that uh, defines the uh, entryways into the development. Now for the clubhouse, we're very cognizant of the fact that the tropical weather in the Philippines has a combination of extreme weather seasons. That is, either it's hot or it's very wet. And of course, it's also complicated by perennial typhoons. The style is contemporary tropical. The architecture silhouette bend befits with a tropical context. We got broad roof overhangs that provide the comfort to the residents and a, a really nice shelter to the indoor spaces. Breezeways and openings that allow for natural cross ventilations. We also provided open or semi outdoor spaces that bridge the interior spaces with the landscape environment. We played up the juxtaposition and layering of solid building elements with light and filigree decorative screen walls. We implemented the use of warm tones, textures, and materials. And this is important in tying it with the landscape palette that we have created for the outdoor environments. As mentioned, less landscape is very important, lush landscape that engages with the architecture spaces. This is a very unique clubhouse for us, the way we have designed it. Not unlike some of the other clubhouses that we have designed in the past in the same scale and magnitude, we have pulled apart the pieces. And that has to do with the fact that we have to deal with a culvert that is running through the middle of the site. That became a great opportunity for us to then create zones in the outdoor spaces. And these zones then became the, uh, the, the story behind the landscape elements and features that is scattered throughout the clubhouse site. As part of the guest experience here, we have introduced water as a threshold between uh, the outside of the building and the inside of the building, encouraging the guests to walk across uh, the, the water and integrating landscape within the facade of the building really brings this seamless uh, transition between the landscape and the interior of the architecture. One of the design challenges that we had in this project was that we didn't have a view to look at. We don't have a mountain, we don't have an ocean or a beach to be looking at from the clubhouse. And so what we have done then is to create these views within the site itself. And so the moment you arrive at the uh, entry of the clubhouse, there's a sense of so anticipation, there's a sense of exploration, and then there's a sense of a bit of a surprise. So view corridors were important to us. And so the landscape itself then beca became the, the viewpoints from the different vantage locations within the interior spaces of the clubhouse. And taking the structure of the landscape and using it to help focus the corridors of the, the visual connections we were trying to create We've also used planting within this lovely reflective water feature that is reflecting the, the trees within the water. And at night, we using the, the fire bowl as this lovely ethereal sort of element that the guests will see from inside the clubhouse and engage the guests with the outside space and draw them towards the main swimming pool area. We designed the arrival experience for the clubhouse to be a lot more intimate. It has this very boutique feel to it, very residential, and it's very open. So there's always a dialogue between indoor spaces and outdoor spaces. The circulation are not corridors or circulation, they are places. They are places where the guests or the residents can enjoy the view towards the landscape environments. So as the guest arrives, they're greeted by this lovely lush uh, landscape space, which is centrally focused by this cascading uh, water feature with gushing fountains, 
creating this lovely background uh, noise of splashing water uh, to help engage the guests with the concept of tranquility as they then start to move through the building into the clubhouse. As the residents explore the indoor spaces, all the connectors between the different structures that make up the clubhouse, there's a lot of this indoor-outdoor experiences, covered spaces that allow you to uh, connect with the outdoor environment. So as part of the landscape experience here, we've created this main swimming pool, which has a very much of a wellness focus to it. We've engaged landscaping with the edge of the, the swimming pool here so that there is the connection between the water and, and the, the trees. We're using the trees here to help create shade, but also define, define spaces for the guests to come and create their own definable spaces around the, the pool. So they create their own sort of private spaces around the pool. We're also using here some low level lush planting, but we're also creating gazebos and other fun sunbathing uh, pool uh, spaces and seating areas for the guests. So as part of the, the family experience here, we're creating this play garden, which is a unique play space for uh, the family and, and the children. And it's more than just a, a playground. It is a very interactive landscape, uh, lots of mounds, lots of water features, lots of natural play experiences, so the, the family can be entertained here for a long period of time whilst using the, the, the clubhouse in a very safe environment and a very protected environment. Thank you, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed our presentation. Um, we're really uh, inspired by this uh, vision that we have for the, the architecture and the landscape uh, of this project and bringing the, the wellness landscape and the mindfulness landscape into this project will create a very unique residential community in the Philippines. Thank you, everyone. This clubhouse for us is a very unique project. It is one of those clubhouses where we pull things apart. And it was a bit of a blessing in disguise to have this very unique site constraint and turn that into an opportunity to create something exciting with the clubhouse layout and creating these pockets of gardens and landscape features in between. So we look forward to have this project moving forward and getting it built pretty soon. Thank you. Thank you.